Hello, my name is Sherry and I am the author of From Sabotage to Success and I'm bringing to you some tips for visualization and this one especially is visualization on the go. I mean, maybe you've heard about visualization before and you heard about it as something you have to sit down and you have to relax and you have to focus for at least 20 minutes and I know from experience that there are some of you that won't do that and simply because of the amount of time that you think you have to set aside for it. And I don't want you to miss out on this amazingly powerful technique of using your human imagination to visualize and manifest your desires. So I'm going to bring you a variety of tips and this tip that I'm going to talk about today is in my book from sabotage to success, but I'm also going to elaborate on it a little bit. A lot of time has passed and I've learned a lot since then. So I'm going to tie in the concept of index cards into this video and I'm even using index cards as I talk because I visualized and imagined doing this video for you. So what you want to do here is a visualization technique is to write about your ideal future as if it has already happened. But don't get all complicated about this and don't spend a lot of time trying to come up with the perfect scenario. What I want you to do literally is get yourself some index cards and to write down some key points. And this is really fun because you're going to be visualizing as if the event or circumstance turned out the way you wanted it to turn out. So you want to place yourself in that future mindset, get a little creative and use your imagination. So let's say you have something coming up in the near future, like a presentation or a test or something that you possibly could get upset and worried about, but you really would like to see a positive outcome for it. Well, what you want to do is just to write down some of the things that would be taking place if it turned out exactly the way you wanted it to turn out. And really important is to be in touch with your feelings while you're doing this. This should be fun. This should be creative. This should not be stressful. So write down a couple of those key points. And like I said, you can just start out by writing it on something as simple as an index card. You don't have to get a special journal. You don't have to get a special pin. You don't have to sit in a special spot. You don't have to set aside a special time, at least not right now, because again, this is for people who are on the go. So you can use a couple of writing prompts to get you started. If you're not quite sure what, to write or what points to put down. Here's a couple of writing prompts from in, for you and they're on my index card. Okay, let me see what, uh, it, what uh, so it would be like this. If my ideal future arrived, I would, and then just write. Set a timer and just allow your site yourself to write only for five minutes because I told you this is visualization on the go. Okay. If it turned out exactly the way I wanted, this is what would happen. And then include some sights, some sounds, some smells, some uh, anything that comes to your mind. This is about really exercising your imagination, getting some practice with it. Anything you practice is what you're going to master. And even a master needs practice. So let's have fun with this. You can also put it on a post-it note or an index card, whichever one works for you and keep it with you. That's the thing that's so great about an index card is you can just put it in your pocket. You can put it in your purse. You can put it in your wallet. You can keep it with you and keep it handy. So then those little breaks that you have during the day, like when you go to the restroom or you're waiting for somebody or you're sitting and you, you just have free time, instead of picking up your smartphone, pick up your index card or put your index card with your smartphone. You have the two together and you refer to it throughout the day from time to time. Let it come alive in your imagination. 
see if you think of any other details to add to it and then just jot them down. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can add more to it later. Think about it like practice or rehearsal, only you're doing it in your mind. So, you know, sometimes when you practice for a presentation or let's say you were going to be an actress or an actor and you were going to prepare for a part, you would practice and this is the same thing. It's definitely a better alternative than worrying or having worst case scenarios because let's face it, you can do that too, right? You spend your mental and emotional energy thinking about, oh my God, what if this happens? What if that happens? And you can get yourself worked up into a state that is definitely not productive for getting what you want out of the scenario. If you're thinking about a particular upcoming event, another thing you can do is you can put the date of the event or the day after the event at the top of your index card and then write it as if the event has already happened. So it might be something like, the future is now and I have and then fill in the blank. I have just completed my presentation. I have just completed my test. Now, I'm a professor, so I'm automatically going to gravitate toward those things about presentations and tests in these videos, but you can apply it to other scenarios as well. So uh, you'll do that. You'll put the date uh, as if it's already happened. And I have to say that this is something that I've used in workshops that I've taught live with people. They put it at the beginning of the workshop series and then maybe several weeks later we check in. Or maybe sometimes they get back to me weeks or even months after the workshop is over depending on the date for this thing that they're going to do. And some really interesting and fun things come out of it. So again, fun is the really important part of this. It's not to get stressed out. It's not to try and control it. You're definitely not going to control anything. But when you start planting those seeds of creativity in your consciousness, then that allows you to sometimes come up with answers and solutions that you would not have come up with if your mental and emotional energy was consumed with worry and what if. So I had a gal, for example, at a workshop and she was uh, getting ready to go to a Mother's Day uh, event. It was a few months off and she was kind of worried about it. So instead of worrying and worrying and worrying, she wrote about the scenario as she would have liked it to be. And here's the other thing, by writing about how she wanted it to be, what she was doing was she was using her mind to focus on the examples of things that turned out the way she was hoping them to. You know how sometimes we focus our mind on, it's kind of like that self-fulfilling prophecy. We knew it was going to be bad. We're looking for all the ways that it's going to be bad. And sure enough, we find all the way it's going to, all the ways it's going to be bad. So this is using some of those things that sometimes can work against us, but now we're using them to work for us. Okay. Uh, don't get stuck on the details of exactly how this is going to happen. Just let your imagination, uh, just take an imagination break. Okay. That's another thing that's going to be beneficial to you as a person who's on the go is you need those mental breaks. You need that mental downtime to take your focus off of the things that are consuming you and put it onto something creative that in and of itself is going to have value and benefit. If you uh, can, maybe think about adding some smells. So I just recently went on a trip where I was spending a lot of time by the pool. So I, I was in the pool and the smell of chlorine was a thing. And also the smell of the fresh air was a thing. Now, maybe chlorine isn't your favorite smell, but by the same token, if you think about a pool or you think about chlorine or you think about the sound of the water fountain by the pool, that can get you into a state in a way that words sometimes can't all by themselves. 
you can use this little index card you can revise it you can renew it you can refresh it you can jot a bunch of notes down make your sloppy index card get another index card rewrite it fix it up the the point is repetition is going to work in your favor so if you want a little bit more of an expanded uh, view of everything we've talked about or if you want to just take your time with it you can buy my book from sabotage to success this is from the chapter called see it believe it make it real and it goes into great detail and gives you multiple examples I also have an index card video that I created a several years ago I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to it so that you can go check that out as well if you like videos like this is you might want to subscribe and also check that bell icon to get notifications get all notifications because I'm going to be posting more videos on this topic every week another thing another final tip that I'll leave you with is as you start this process jot down the instances where maybe you have synchronicities or you see something that you didn't expect to see or you see something that confirms what you're focusing on uh, i recently had somebody give me a coffee mug with a bee on it a honey bee and it tied directly in with something that was on my index card so that was like oh i wanted to acknowledge that that was kind of random but at the same uh, token it was connected and so now it was just another anchor to be tied into my visualization track your synchronicities as you go have fun these uh, techniques that I tell you about don't go wild with them I mean they're not a replacement for therapy if you have trauma you have grief then those are things to deal with it you don't want to just imagine it away you don't want to create scenarios where you're avoiding or neglecting your feelings I'm highly in favor of seeing a therapist but there's no harm in taking mental breaks and using your imagination to create fun and joy in your life throughout the day that's all I have for now have a great week and bye for now.